Today we're making just a nice basic chili. I like to call it basic bitch chili, BBC. But take it, make it yours. Add jalapenos, bell peppers, red onions, maple syrup, brown sugar. There is no rules, add whatever you want. So let's get into it. First things first, I'm gonna use ground turkey, use ground beef, whatever you want, ground chicken. There are no rules. We get that in the pan. And then I got about a cup of diced onion, probably a little bit more, yellow onion. I like that in there. Get that in there with it. And you can cook this all in one pan, but I like to do it in two. Just lets me control it all better and I can work on the chili part while I'm cooking the meat. So all the season her up. First things first, all important salt. Ooh, and there goes the wind. Wait that shit down. It's all good. Of course, as soon as I start filming. That's just how it fucking works. A little pepper. You have to get close here. I'm gonna take it all with it. I'm just going over a medium heat. We're just gonna brown it up, break it up, then we'll add it to the chili. A little garlic powder, of course. Oops. And a little onion powder. And then just to help it along, this helps when you're breaking up meat. A little chicken broth. Just a little dashing. And then if you got it, Johnny's, which basically has a lot of this stuff in it. So you can kind of just skip a lot of that if you want, but I like it all. More flavor, baby. All right, so then we got that going. So now it's time for the chili base. First things first, one regular, what is this, 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. And then we're gonna do one can of chicken broth. You can use water too. There's enough salt and seasoning in this stuff that you'd really be fine. And you could use half to one can, depends on how long you're gonna cook it. Chili's one of those things, you know, the longer you cook it, the better it gets. I mean, you could even make this the day before. It's better the next day, in my opinion, just like pasta sauce. Once all those flavors marry together and mm, become amazing. So I'm gonna cook this for probably about two hours. So one can's plenty. Can of petite diced tomatoes, tomatoes and a can of dark red kidney beans, but use whatever beans you want. Use light red, use navy beans, pinto beans, chickpeas, AKA fucking garbanzo beans. I usually add those too sometimes, but we're just doing the basic. Sticking to the basics here. We got all those in there. Then nice little stir and we're just gonna cook this over medium heat. Nice little simmer. All right, so now we're gonna whip up our seasoning for the chili. So first things first, Got some dark chili powder. You can use whatever chili powder you want, really. Two tablespoons. And I do this over a bowl so you don't accidentally overspill into there. And this isn't exactly a tablespoon, but it's pretty damn close. And I've made it with this a ton of times. Then cumin. Go with about one and a half to start, one and a half tablespoons. All the full written recipe below. Of course, every time I start filming, it gets windy, right? And a half. And then we always taste and adjust from there. Then about two teaspoons worth of black pepper. About a teaspoon of salt. And, and then I like to do a little more garlic powder because I love my garlic. And we got the chopped garlic here to go in the meat. But we only do that close to the end. We don't want it to burn. Nobody wants burnt garlic. About a half a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon of garlic powder. Give it a nice little stir. That's the other advantage of doing it in a bowl. Get a nice blend. Of course, it's gonna cook so long, it doesn't matter. Now it's got that nicely blended. In. It's time to flip our meat. Keep breaking it up. Season side two, same as we did size one. Side one. Not size one. Can't fucking talk some days. Talk would be hard. All right. Well, Johnny's, if you're so inclined. I'll have a link in the description for where you can get Johnny's on Amazon. Greatest seasoning out there for like burgers and stuff. Oh, love it. A little black pep. A little more garlic powder. So 
we're half going to the breeze today. And you know, it only gets windy when I turn the camera on. That's just how it fucking works. Just like yesterday, it was raining. So just keep breaking this up until there's no pink and we're cooked at 165 for the turkey. The turkey's just about there. Not seeing any pink, all broken up nicely. Time to add the garlic. I got about five to six large cloves of garlic diced up here. Get that in. I like a lot of garlic. More or less, depending on your taste. And nobody complains about the garlic, usually. The jalapenos and other stuff I get people complaining about. So, that's why I add them in on my own. You can always jack it up more on your bowl. Hard to take it away. And if I was making this, I'd have cayenne pepper in there if it was just me. But I got other people eating. Love my cayenne. Add that spice to life. Fuck flies. Wind starts every time I turn the camera on. Hey, just another day in the great outdoors. Just gotta love it. Let's just keep the garlic moving there. Don't wanna burn it. And we'll give that about a minute or two and then into the chili. Now that we got our garlic smelling great, time to incorporate it with the chili. And so the history of chili powder is really interesting. Uh, Gebhardt's Mexican Food Company in 1896 in San Antonio, Texas kind of commercialized it to America. Before that time, everybody made their own chili powder from scratch. And they commercialized it, bottled it, and started selling it in stores across the country. And that's what really brought tacos and Mexican food into the mainstream. One of the foundational things, at least. Because without the chili powder and seasoning, you had to make your own. And most people just didn't know how. Before the days of the YouTubes and internet. So I'll give this a nice stir in. Get it all nicely incorporated. And then pop the lid on if you're going to simmer it for a long time. If you're going to eat it really quickly. I'd simmer it for at least 20 minutes. Get all those flavors married together. Then I'll leave the lid off, but... I'm gonna go for about two hours, so we'll pop the lid on. Give it an occasional stir every 10, 15 minutes. Low simmer. And then we'll be eating in heaven. Chili heaven here. All right, so here we are in the bowl. Got some fresh chopped jalapenos in there, fresh diced yellow onion, flaming hot Fritos, and a dash in a cayenne pepper for some mojito. And a cornbread biscuit with butter. Classic combos here. All right, let's get everything. Mmm. Love the crunch, fantastic amount of heat, just perfect. Try a little with the cornbread. Oops, stick my finger in the butter. Mm. Cornbread and chili, what a classic combo. Mm. So make this, make it your own. Until next time, bye. With a cornbread, with, with some, yeah. Now with a cornbread, with some cornbread. Mm -hmm.